Hi. Uh, welcome to our glass drilling tutorial. You're going to need a number of items. You'll need a plastic container to hold the water. You'll need a piece of glass that you can put your piece of glass on to help keep it from breaking through. You'll need a variable speed drill. Uh, we happen to use a um, Chicago Power Tools flex shaft grinder that we picked up from our local Harbor Freight Tools. They right down the street. They have them online as well. Um, you're going to need a drill bit that's a diamond coated drill bit. Uh, here's a smaller one. They make them in multiple sizes. Uh, you can take this technique and apply it to pendants, clocks, anything that you're going to need to drill in glass. The basic principle is going to be the same. So we have different sizes of drill bits um, for drilling things like clocks and parts like that. You'll need some water as well. You want to be careful working with electricity and water, so if you're using a variable speed power drill, you want to be careful with how you're going to be handling it around water. Fill up your container with just enough water to coat your piece and uh, the glass that it's going to be sitting on. You'll also, I tend to want to mark my piece where I'm going to drill it with a little sharpie. And that gives me a little aiming point when I'm starting out. I just put out a little dot right on the piece of glass uh, and let it dry and Sharpie will come off. Place it in the water and make sure that it's covered totally in water as the glass will be getting hot, the bit will be getting hot and you want to keep it kind of cool if you can and that helps to get the uh, glass pieces away. <clears throat> You're going to start with your drill bit on the side and it, what it does is helps to uh, create a little channel for you when you're working so that you can then lift your drill bit up and go down into it. Start out with it kind of slow and just let the glass bit do its work, a diamond bit. And just kind of nice and slow get it started and increase your power just a little bit. You want to make sure that you're holding onto the glass really tight as well. You don't want it to go spinning off. Once you get a good divot started, then you can slowly bring your drill bit up and then just go straight on down through the bit, through the glass. And just take your time and let the, the drill bit do its work. If you hear the drill slowing down, then you're pushing too hard. Once you start, you can always stop, um, take your drill bit out, and it's easy to just put it back into the hole, and don't start the drill bit back until you've got it back in the hole. You don't want it to go sliding around and cause some scratches on your nice piece of work. Just start it up nice and slow again. A little bit of pressure. pop through you're going to feel it it's going to pop and then you're going to just go all the way through just like that easy as pie so remember be careful around electricity and water and thanks for visiting